If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the new Team of the Week, Week 12, I believe. Maybe Week 13. I'm losing track here a little bit. Uh, the reveal is the pre reveal for tomorrow. So we have the pre reveal. Then we'll have the morning pre reveal with all the players. Then we'll have the mid afternoon actual drop. So that's going to be tomorrow. Obviously, today is Monday. Tuesday, we have the Team of the Week Tuesday. So that will be coming. So, pretty exciting stuff, guys. We have some 94 overall players to go over here, and just a few things I do want to cover, see if they're good, what teams, what theme teams they fall on, kind of see if we should be excited about these cards. And before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And of course, guys, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy for tonight's Monday Night Football slates and get involved and enter some lineups for tonight's games, head down below. My code and link will get you a, up to a free $100 on your first deposit, which you can go ahead and use to play, to play pretty much for free. So... Take advantage of the code or the link. You will just enter it with your own money. So definitely not as enticing. But yeah, let's get into this, guys. So we have some stuff. We have Seth Joyner as the first player for the team of the week. Eagles outside linebacker now. 90 speed. He's a run stop, by the way. 90 speed, 93 box sell. 86 strength, 92 tackle. 90 play rec, 92 block shed, and 80 hit power. 72 finesse move, which isn't usable. 80 power move, which isn't usable. So essentially, it's one of those typical outside linebackers that really could just stop the run but they can't pass rush so you can just have them there to play i guess you'd pretty much be a stand-up outside linebacker really is what he would be or you know middle linebacker slash stand-up outside linebacker not meant to pass rush at all just gonna be there to stop the run but there's so many linebackers that have top tier block shed and power move at the same time so it wouldn't really ever make sense to buy this guy as a stand-up unless he has really good catching on like zone right which we'd have to check but the speed and excel are pretty good again if you're going to stand them up though middle linebackers already have 94 95 speed right so it comes to a point where you're really wondering is it worth it they get a stand-up linebacker like this speed would be elite as a pass rusher but since he's not a pass rusher you're primarily looking at him as a run stuffer and a stand-up guy right so i i don't really see the purpose for him not a bad card he will fit on the eagles team team of course doesn't look horrible but i don't i don't think it's a guy that you're really primarily taking here but he is going to be the defensive past team of the week for this week right a player who's formerly you know gone retired doesn't play in the league anymore we have doug baldwin this is going to be another past player he played for the seattle seahawks i don't remember if he played for other teams i he may have uh i don't remember he might have been here all his career i don't really remember but he had a really good career for the most part when he was you know when he had a stretch really good for the seahawks he's a great player this was before metcalf i believe it was metcalf and lockett for a little bit i think there was a period of time when they were together if i'm not mistaken but baldwin's good 94 overall route runner 93 speed it's modest right it's not going to be the the highest one in the game but it's going to be right there like kind of like uh swan from this morning just right there time to speed the jumping's a little bit low he's also not that tall either 93 catching 94 catching traffic 94 spec 94 short 93 medium and 91 deeper running so he's going to be an elite route runner he's going to be an elite catcher going to be good speed he's going to be like just like swan exactly like that from this morning lin swan that is he just good at everything not going to be great at anything. He's not going to be the best route runner. He's not going to be the best catcher. He's not going to be the fast guy, right? He's just good at everything. His speed, nothing really sets him out of there. He doesn't get a 99 stat, you know? But for you Seattle Seahawks team team, guys, he'll definitely be fun. I think he was getting good. You know, you're going to have Lockett, Baldwin, and Metcalf. And I think there's more. There are probably some legends in there as well. That's all already. You have Russ, obviously. Just It's an overall. It's just a good, it's a good theme team. But that's going to be Doug Baldwin, runner archetype. Now, again modest not the greatest but we still have some more we still have the ltd we still have some other stuff coming tomorrow so it's not like these three guys define the whole thing obviously some of the some of the power pack like some of the power expansion players those are some of the more fun players the plus ones you know those are equally as important as the actual top tier guys and like if let's say tyrick had a great week he gets a plus one his speed probably goes a plus one that's a big deal so for some cards they matter but that's better for doug baldwin we have the eagles player we have doug baldwin this is going to be the final one here with jason pierre paul on the Giants. Now, he does play on the Bucks now. Um, right at linebacker, speed rusher for the Giants. Really exciting, actually. This is the LTD, so he's going to be a pass guy because he does still play, so he can't get the LTD. 89 speed, 94 excel, 91 strength, 91 tackle, 95 play rack, 87 block shot, 84 power move, 95 finesse move. Now, really good finesse rusher. I don't like the card, though, because it's block shot. It's too low. I just don't understand how they get it. I don't, I don't get how they give us 95 overall player. And he has three stats in the 80s. Does not make sense to me. I just there's there's a we already have cards in this game. Like I said, outside linebackers like Lawrence Taylor, 
Derek Thomas. Like we have, we have bro, Derek Thomas. We have so many outside linebackers that are good, like 90 plus speed, finesse move, top tier power move, top tier block shed with above 90 speed. Like they can do all those things well. We should be moving forward with cars that can do all those things better. I know it's team of the week, but it's not like he's a lower overall. Hey, I get it. They dropped 93 overall cars. Like, oh yeah, that should be a little bit worse. We're going forward. Like, he's a 95 LTD. I mean. I don't know. The block should have to be a bit higher for me because he's not going to be a threshold run stuffer, which is something that's very important to me, especially since, you know, if you're not the best at run defense, your computers, you know, because you could you could shoot gaps all you want, but you need to have some players who can set edges and really just kind of make a, make a play for you. Sometimes on a third down, come in screaming on their own, block shit instantly off. Those are the plays that stop drives, you know? So I take, I take run stuffing pretty seriously, especially since run defense isn't always the easiest thing sometimes because, you know, it's, it's just hard. It's just hard. Sometimes you need a guy to make a play, and you're not going to get that with guys with such a little block shed. Especially people with good old lines. I mean, old lines don't help the most, but a really, really good old line against guys with bad block shed should lead to a lot of run. Real quick, guys, before I forget here, this was released as I was finishing the video. So a few times throughout the video, I may mention that there was another player, but here you go. This is going to be the player. We got Patrick Sertain, the second. We did recently get, well, not recently, but this year we did get a rising star for him that was free from those solos. So we have some experience with Patrick Sertain this year. He has gotten some pretty good cards. He's getting the top player, which is pretty crazy. You know, he's a rookie, so that is pretty cool for a rookie to be getting a top player like that. Now, this card looks pretty good. 93 speed, 84 excel, 93 agility, 95 jumping, 87 play rec, 94 man, 93 zone, 94 press. Powered up with everything, guys, he's going to be a top tier card. I mean, he has 95 man, 95 press, 94 zone, and 94 speed. It's pretty good. And he's probably, I don't know, we have to see what his physicality is and how they did him on the back of the card, but he's looking really, really good. Definitely going to be a top tier corner. Definitely excited to see a rookie getting this kind of love, but... That's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. That is it for this. That's going to be the hero. We still have a lot more stuff tomorrow. Obviously, we still have the lower pieces. But yeah, that's about it. Nothing. So that's about it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video, guys. This is going to be our pre-release reveal. So we have Jace Pierre Paul, Doug Baldwin, and Seth Joyner. Remember, tomorrow we still have some more stuff here. Because that was just the LTD. And these guys, we still have the top current week performer from this week in like the actual NFL modern. And then we have all the plus ones, all the lower pieces, the you know, the NCAT, the 90. There's still a lot of stuff, so definitely some exciting stuff. Looking forward to it tomorrow. Um, There's going to be more of a dead week because, you know, with the Blitz just about ending. And then, of course, Thanksgiving Pro being ending. We're going to have a little decent break until we have, like, Series 2, until we have Gridiron 4, potentially, until we have this um, the Zero Chill Pro. We're going to have a little decent break between then. So expect, like, a little 5 to 10-day break of content, like, you know, besides the regularly scheduled content. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And, of course, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these cards. If I had to rank them, I would put Seth Joyner last, Doug Baldwin second to last, and Jason, Jason Pierre-Paul only in front because I do... Actually, no, okay. Seth Joyner last, Jason Pierre-Paul second, and then Doug Baldwin first. Now, Doug Baldwin's first because he actually could play on almost any team and still make an impact regardless of what you want. And then Seth Joyner, just, he's just horrible. He's a stand-up linebacker that can't pass rush with lower speed. And Jason Pierre-Paul, he's only second because he actually is an insane finesse mover for rusher, but... That's about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you want to check out Underdog Fantasy for tonight's Monday night games, make sure to get signed up and enter some lineups before, of course, the games start. So make sure you guys do head on down below. Use the code and the link below so you can get some free money to play tonight. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.